Judge Hill has completed his placings in the Brown Swiss Dry Cow class. It's my pleasure to introduce to you third place in the class. She is entry 1460, VB Kegger Eagle Fanfare, exhibited by Vagley Farm Incorporated of Monticello, Wisconsin. Second place in the class goes to entry 1463, Forest Lawn Anthem Busy, exhibited by Ken Main and Peter Vale of Copake, New York. And before we announce our winner in the class, production award goes to entry 1464, Alpine Hills Star Venus ET, exhibited by Blessing Farms, Mort and Osborne of Fort Wayne, Indiana. She has a record at 305 days, five years, 10 months of 30,154 pounds of milk, 1,604 pounds of fat, and 1,018 pounds of protein. And ladies and gentlemen, your winning entry in the dry cow class is entry 1465. She is Old Mill E. Snickerdoodle, exhibited by Alan Basler Jr. of Upperville, Virginia. Congratulations. And now for his comments on this class, Judge Hill. Hello. It's certainly a pleasure for Joe and myself to be judging the Swiss show today. And what a fitting way to start out our show with a couple tremendous dry cows here. The trademark of the brown Swiss breed is feet and legs. And we have a 15-year-old cow that we're starting the class with. Just walk, watching this cow walk out so freely. And she has an advantage over our second place cow in the way she handles herself on her hind legs today. You admire the cow for her length her frame, her straightness, her width all the way through, uh, wearing a tremendous dry udder. She places over our second cow on that advantage in feet and legs and dairiness today. The second cow taking nothing away from her, a great cow in her own right, tremendous frame, the strength and power through the front end, the overall straightness over her top line, the style and balance that she has over the third place cow. Third and fourth were the close placing for me in the class. I'm giving the nod to the third cow that just shows me more width through the chest than the large cow we have in fourth. The third also a little more pleasing over the rump, a little neater in the tail setting than the cow in fourth. We do love the, the frame on the cow in fourth, the uphill walk on her. It's that strength and power that carries her over the dairy cow we have coming out here in fifth. Fifth over six, primarily on uh, utter quality as we see them today. Uh, just walking a little more freely on her hind legs than the cow in sixth. Sixth over seventh on the advantage in body, more open in her ribbing and deeper in both fore and rear.